All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get the group together a little bit more. All the deacons and trustees are gonna get one shovel, and uh, then Pastor Burge and Pastor Sands and I will get another shovel, and we'll get a better group picture here. But I want to read something out of First Corinthians, and some of you are are familiar with this. Paul was very concerned that people didn't get the idea that it was because of one person and he said people are not divided into groups and he he explained to people that the scripture is is something that doesn't often make sense and as he finished talking to the Corinthians in the first uh, chapter he said uh, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, the things which are not, to bring to naught or bring uh, to nullify things that are. That are that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. That word glory there means to boast. And it means that we're going to give God the glory for everything that he does. The Corinthians had gotten so caught up in themselves, their selfishness, that they wouldn't even share their food with each other. And what we want to make sure is that as we continue on as a church family is that God is the one who continually gets the glory. But the focus is not on any individual, it's on Him. And through Him, He's chosen to work through people, but through Him we'll see some things done. What you see out here today is uh, four cones. And Lord willing, there's one there, one over here, and there's one back here, and then the fourth corner over here. That's a hundred by hundred square. And Lord willing, within a few months, six, eight, nine months, we'll have a building here. And we'll have another dedication service. And uh, our plan is that this building would not be used just simply for games. We want to enjoy it and have fun there, but we want it to be something that's used to see people saved, and disciple, a place where people can gather, but the focus will always be on Him. And so when we glory or when we boast, we want to boast that God is the one who's put this up for His own ministry for Himself. And then we want to be rejoicing that we can be used as part of that. And I so appreciate our church family, the unity we have, and the enthusiasm for moving forward in what God wants us to do. In a moment, we're going to take a, a, a scoop of dirt and we're going to put it in a container. We find that. Stuart's got it down here. And that'll be memorialized for us. We're going to put it in a little case and uh, it's going to be something that'll be in the new building and there'll be a couple of pictures and we'll remember the time that we were able to, to take this first scoop of dirt and then hopefully go on. I think somebody suggested that we should just keep digging today and all of that wall, then we'd have a good start. <laughs> Might be a long service. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I want to pray first and then we're going to get all the deacons and trustees over here on my right and uh, we're going to let them take the first scoop of dirt and put it in the bucket. And then we're going to take a scoop after we see whether the ground is frozen or, frozen or not. And uh, then we'll put one in there as well, just to symbolize the fact that we're getting started on this. And we trust the Lord will move it along quickly. Let's bow for prayer. Father in heaven, I do thank you that today, as men and ladies who have dedicated themselves to serve you, that we can boast in you. Lord, we glory in the fact that you have provided for us. You've given us some of what is yours. And now, Lord, we're pleased to use that to further our ministry. And Lord, as we stand out here, we can see homes, we can hear vehicles going by that represent souls that need to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray through this building that we would see you working in hearts. Lord, I pray it would be used for your glory. Lord, today, as we have prayed many times, we pray that you'll lead us and guide us 
Give us wisdom in the decisions. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. things he hath done and we'll sing that again when we have a dedication service to God be the glory great things he hath done so loved he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life and atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give. 